Right, welcome, welcome. Tut 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 tut. 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 All right. Welcome. How many non-Iranians? Let me hear you cheer. Non-Iranians here. Are there non? Thank you. Yes. Welcome. We appreciate the support. All right. Uh, thank you all for coming out and gathering for this event. They're they're doing this event all over the world in support of uh, um, of human rights in Iran. We really appreciate you guys all coming out. Uh, I'm happy to be a part of this uh, because uh, no matter what religion or what political side you 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 believe in, I think we all believe in human rights and we believe in the freedom of the people that were doing protests. There were peaceful protests in Iran. Um, um, and so uh, I want to uh, thank you all for supporting that. Whether you're who I want, I want to hear who, who we have. Do we have? Uh, let me hear. Uh, Iranian. Um, we have everyone here. We got Muslims. Iranian Muslims. We got Iranian Jews. Iranian Jews. We got Baha'is. We have Christians. We have Buddhists. No, you're not, you liars. But we'll take Buddhists. Are there any Hindus? Okay, fine, everybody. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna host this and keep the evening moving. We have some great speakers. We have some uh, uh, um, musicians that are gonna come up here and and also play for you. Um, please keep this movement going. It's the least we can do for our brothers and sisters in Iran who again are trying to do peaceful protests out there. Um, I'm gonna get this started right now. Um, I'm gonna bring to the stage our first speaker for the evening. Um, uh, she is a human rights and gender equality activist. She works closely with the UN and has served in many leadership positions at local and global levels, such as Chairwoman Intercultural Network, a global organization based in San Francisco. Uh, she's well published in Persian and in English on human rights and women rights in Iran and in Afghanistan. Um, she uh, has, uh, um, uh, she is, uh, um, she's won, she's, she's won awards, many awards, uh, including Human Rights Award for Soroptimist International and Lillian Robles Inaugural Award from Cal State Long Beach. Please welcome to the stage Elahe Amani. Please welcome Elahe Amani. Oh, and people, I've been told to have them sit down. It's okay here. Stand up. They told me to have you sit down, but we're going to revolt. Stand up, people. Cheer for standing up. Elahe Amani, one more time. today in what will go down in history as the greatest organized support for the plight of Iranian people for democracy and human rights. Today, thousands of people, thank you. Today, thousands of people around the world came together in 110 cities from Kabul to London, from Cairo to San Paul, to echo the voice of Iranian people for condemning the widespread systematic violation of human rights in Iran, and to call for full support of their human and civil rights of the people who are losing their life in the streets of Tehran and other big cities. The Global Day of Action today is to demonstrate worldwide solidarity with the civil rights movement in Iran. Global networks and human rights organizations such as Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, Iranian League for Defense of Human Rights, International Campaign for Human Rights in Iran, Reporters Without Borders, Peace Jam, the International Federation of Human Rights, Nobel Prize Women Initiative, Frontline Physician for Human Rights, and last but not least, Honorable Iranian Nobel Peace Laureate Shirine Ebadi have sponsored and supported the Global Day of Action. <laughs> Successful rallies in Paris with 8,000 people Stockholm with 4,000, Amsterdam 3,000, Washington and New York, and now here in LA with the presence of all of you here, is who gathered here 
in a non-political, non-partisan event is a clear indication that the world is watching and will not be quiet about the human rights abuses in Iran. We are gathered here to tell the world that the young lives like Neda and Sohrab and many other people will not be forgotten from the memory of the people of the world and for that matter for Iranian people. Only and and the, the, these young lives being lost on the streets of Iranian cities will only strengthen our commitment and continuation of this struggle for the, for the people who are continuing till we bring the people who are committing these crimes against humanity to justice. In Los Angeles, for the first time, a broad and inclusive coalition of young and old, of three generations of Iranian, with a whole host of political viewpoints and beliefs came together to organize this event that you are participating. This event was organized based on pr principles of transparency, collaborative leadership, and democratic values, the, the values that Iranian uh, regime is not upholding. That's why the struggle against that regime should basically have those values that we are seeking for. I'm confident that you all are here because you believe in these values. You believe in transparency and democratic values. Resisting to dictatorship is not only a political and social matters. It's not happening only in political and social realms. It's a cultural thing. It's the culture that is us versus them, black and white, binary thinking that you're either with us or against us. We came here together to organize this day because the citizen of the world demanding that civil and human rights of people of Iran must be honored. We, we are asking to stop the abuse of power, the imprisonment, the torture and killing immediately. Solidarity with Iranian people. To our young brothers and sisters, we have heard your voice and you are not alone. Iranian participated in a presidential election marred with accusation of widespread fraud and voting irregularities. In the days that followed, many demonstration and event was organized by Iranian and non-Iranian and all the world. But today, the, the, the Global Day of Action today, July 25th, was organized. Only we want to send a clear and loud message to Iranian government that we will not be quiet until justice, till the justice for the blood that's pouring in the street of Tehran and other cities, we continue this struggle. And as Shirin Ebadi asked, we want to, uh, we want to call for re-election and with the, with the observer from UN. Today's event in Los Angeles is organized around the following core demands. That the international community uphold the Iranian people human rights as a matter of international concern and that UN Secretary General should immediately appoint a delegation to travel to Iran to investigate the fate of prisoners as well as disappeared persons. Woo! 